Well, thank you for that introduction, and uh, thank you, too, for your sponsorship of today's program, uh, highlighting regional tourism. And a very good morning to each and every one of you. The early bird gets the worm, and today's a juicy one. I'd be remiss if I did not uh, do a shout out to the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, I've been involved with a number of chambers over the years, and I must say that the Montgomery County has uh, a remarkable uh, tourism uh, chamber team. Uh, back in January, when the chamber first asked me if tourism would like to present a, at the eggs and issues later in the year, I did not know how to respond. I was new, there was no staff. Tourism and travel, as a rule, had been decimated by the pandemic, and variants were rampant. We were still wearing masks. The future was uncertain. Here we are nine months later, a different world from January in many ways. Quick show of hands, how many of you were impacted by the pandemic directly or indirectly? <laughs> Everyone should have raised their hand there, okay? <laughs> but for, the, for those of you that follow me on, on LinkedIn, uh, you'll know that I use the hashtag post-pandemic era uh, quite a bit. This is because a new era is upon us. There is a new reality unfolding everywhere. In travel and tourism, we are experiencing an incredible structural and transformative process in our industry. These are daunting but exciting times. Tourism is local, tourism is global, tourism is statewide, tourism is international, but most of all, tourism is regional. The Blacksburg, Christiansburg, Montgomery County tourism program is regional, but we are also NRV strong. We work closely with our New River Valley partners in Floyd, Giles, in Pulaski counties, and the city of Radford. Today's program is focused on a broader level of what is regional. I think you will find interest in our panelists. I've included the Hulkaberry Trail as I want to underscore the fact that it is more than just a fantastic local recreational and quality of life factor, especially when you connect it to the impressive series of trails being developed along the slopes of Brush Mountain and within the Poverty Creek and Pandapas Pond area. We have a huge out regional outdoor uh, recreational uh, potential emerging. And now, real quickly, uh, I'm going to do a deep dive um, into the local program. Okay, this is our mission statement for the regional program. It uh, exists to promote and develop the local tourism industry to increase visitor spending, tax revenues, tourism tax revenue, and local hospitality and tourism related employment throughout the county and the two towns. What is tourism? Basically, it's more people spending more money and staying longer, keeping the cash registers humming. So, how do we implement this? Marketing, branding, product development, networking, and partnerships locally, regionally, statewide, nationally, internationally. This is the structure of the, of the tourism program. It was first established in 2011. Uh, it it uh, took to the ground in 2012 and formally uh, set up in 2014. It's funded by the three localities, Town of Blacksburg, Christiansburg, and Montgomery County. Uh, from uh, a little less than 1% of um, the local lodging transient occupancy tax. And then I might add, too, that Montgomery County serves as the fiscal agent, administrative agent for this. And to assist with that, they have elevated the tourism program into a full departmental level status, which helps quite a bit uh, for, for support IT, human resources, finance, and so forth. So that's a huge uh, benefit to the program. We have a tourism development council, uh, which provides direct oversight to the program, uh, consisting of the two town managers and the county administrator. And then we have a tourism operating board, which is a, an advisory uh, body to the program, which consists of nine uh, official members, uh, one elected official from each locality, and we have five um, um, general members representing the uh, lodging, dining, and attractions. And then Virginia Tech is represented by a non-voting ex officio member. And we have several liaison uh, uh, folks that, are, that come to the meetings as well, Blacksburg Partnership, uh, the three PIOs from the three localities, uh, the Montgomery County Planning Commission. I won't go this too detail, but anyway, we were on a, a very um, a good trajectory until COVID hit, and it's like going 60 miles an hour and suddenly pulling the brake. I mean, you know, the tourism industry was hit quite hard, and as you can see here, you can see on the chart, but yeah, we took a negative 34.3 percent hit uh, on things. However, um, the new uh, economic impact report should be due out any any week now, and uh, we will do a news release on that. And from what I've heard. We are pretty much close to 2019, if not above uh, 2019 levels. So things are, are, are coming back. 
upcoming projects, uh, I want to talk about the AEP-6. Um, um, that's part of the uh, Americans for uh, Arts. It's a, an economic impact of, uh, of arts and culture on our community. It's never been done in our, in here before. And there are 12 uh, participants right now in Virginia. All 12 are in the Urban Crescent, D.C., Richmond, and, and Tidewater. We're the only one in the rural area. So this is going to be very important. A lot of times we talk about the value of arts and culture, but it's all just you know, anecdotal stuff. This will be very, very important for us. So please support us um, when you are asked to do a survey at, at an event in the area. And the results for this will be out uh, next year. And I'm very excited that we're going to have a DXP, that's a digital experience platform. It's going to replace most of our website. I've been working on this since I first started the position. Actually, I, I mentioned it during my job interview last year. And it, it's, uh, it's a whole new approach to, uh, it, it's, 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 things are uh, updated and populated in real time. So it's, it's going to be exciting to have that happen. Also, we have a tourism staff. Uh, our staff person is now into week three. It's Cheyenne Keese. She's a graduate of the uh, Virginia Tech Hospitality and Tourism Program of the Pamplin College of Business at Virginia Tech. So I'm um, very excited to be working with her. And so far, it's like, wow. So thank you. And uh, we're also uh, working with uh, going through the process for Virginia Tourism ARPA funding. And uh, it's, it's a process, but next, next year we should have that, you know, in, in full effect. And the big picture. Uh, I, like to th I, I like to look down the road a little bit and so forth. And Montgomery County will, will be 250 years old in 2026. That's huge. And it's an opportunity for the whole community on different levels to celebrate and commemorate who we are, what we are, and things of that nature. Uh, a lot of folks don't realize that we have the Transamerica Bike Trail, which goes through our community from the West Coast to the East Coast, and it will be 50 years old in 2026, and the one that I'm especially uh, partial to is the opening of the passenger rail station. We'll be able to market and get people here we would not normally have an opportunity to do, so 2026 is going to be a great year for us. I know it's a few years out, but we start now and work ourselves in that direction.